Are you tired of dealing with oil leaks from your car's engine? If so, you're not alone. One of the most common causes of oil leaks is a worn out rear main seal. But what exactly is a rear main seal and why is it so important? Today, we're going to dive into the world of rear main seals and uncover the secrets to keeping your engine lubricated and running smoothly. From understanding the symptoms of a worn out seal to learning when it's time to change it and even a step-by-step -step guide on how to change it, this video will have you feeling like a pro in no time. So don't wait. Join us now, Ash. We unravel the mystery of the rear main seal and put an end to those pesky oil leaks once and for all. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So you're tired of dealing with oil leaks and want to know the reason behind it? Well, as we mentioned, one of the most common causes of oil leaks is a worn out rear main seal. But what exactly is a rear main seal? In simple terms, it's a barrier that sits between the crankshaft and the engine block, preventing it. oil from leaking out of the engine. It's responsible for keeping the engine lubricated and running smoothly so you can imagine how important it is for the proper functioning of your car's engine. Now that you know the importance of the rear main seal, let's dive a little deeper into what it exactly is. A rear main seal is located at the rear of the engine, where the crankshaft protrudes and it is responsible for preventing oil leaks from the engine by sealing the gap between the crankshaft and the engine block. Think of it as a barrier between the engine's inner workings and the outside world. It is designed to keep the oil where it belongs, inside the engine, ensuring that it's lubricated and running smoothly. But, as with all things mechanical, it's not immune to wear and tear, and that's where the problems start. So what happens when this seal becomes worn out or damaged? And when should you consider changing it? One of the most obvious symptoms of a worn out rear main seal is oil leaks. If you notice that your car is leaving a puddle of oil in your driveway or you see drops of oil under your car, it's a sure sign that your rear main seal needs to be replaced. Another symptom to watch out for is a decrease in oil pressure. A worn out rear main seal can also lead to loss of oil pressure and can cause damage to other parts of the engine. But when should you consider changing it? It's recommended to change it at around 100,000 miles or if you notice any of the symptoms we just talked about. However, it's important to note that the rear main seal can also break or go faulty before this mileage, so it's always a good idea to check your oil level, oil pressure, and look out for oil leaks regularly. Now that we know when to consider changing the rear main seal, let's talk about the process of changing it. But before that, you can show your appreciation for the video by clicking the like button, subscribing to the channel, and turning on post notifications if you want to be notified whenever new videos are added. Now back to the main topic, changing a rear main seal is a task that is best left to a professional mechanic as it requires specific tools and knowledge of the engine. The process usually takes around 3-4 hours and can cost between $300 to $1,000 depending on the make and model of your car. The process begins by removing the transmission or transaxle from the engine. This can be a bit time consuming and can take a couple of hours depending on the make and model of your car. The first step in the process is to remove the transmission or transaxle from the engine. This requires the use of a transmission jack and other specialized tools, depending on the make and model of the vehicle. The mechanic will remove the bolts or nuts that hold the transmission or transaxle in place, and then carefully lower it away from the engine. This step can be time-consuming and requires a high level of skill and experience to avoid damaging any other parts of the vehicle. Once the transmission or transaxle is removed, the mechanic will have access to the flywheel or flex plate, which sits at the rear of the engine. The flywheel or flex plate is the circular metal piece that the transmission or transaxle attaches to, and it's what the engine's crankshaft turns. The mechanic will remove the bolts or nuts that hold the flywheel or flex plate in place and carefully remove it from the engine. With the flywheel or flex plate removed, the mechanic will have access to the crankshaft seal. This is the seal that sits between the crankshaft and the engine block, and it's what keeps oil from leaking out of the engine. The mechanic will use a seal removal tool to pry the seal out of its groove in the engine block. This step requires a high level of precision and care, as the seal is made of soft rubber and can be easily damaged. Once the old seal is removed, the mechanic will clean the surfaces of the crankshaft and the engine block. This is an important step, as any dirt or debris on these surfaces can cause the new seal to leak. 
The mechanic will then carefully install the new seal into its groove in the engine block. This step also requires precision and care, as the seal must be installed straight and level to ensure a proper seal. With the new seal installed, the mechanic will reinstall the flywheel or flex plate and reattach the transmission or transaxle. This is done by reversing the steps that were used to remove these components. The bolts or nuts that hold the flywheel or flex plate and transmission or transaxle in place are tightened to the manufacturer's specifications. Finally, the mechanic will refill the engine with oil and perform a quick test to make sure there are no leaks. This is done by starting the engine and running it for a few minutes to check for any signs of oil leaks. As mentioned before, it is always a good idea to check if the mechanic is using a high-quality seal that matches the make and model of your car. This will ensure that the seal will last long and function properly. Check the work of the mechanic. Ask for a warranty on the seal and ask for a written estimate before the job starts. Also, it's always a good idea to ask the mechanic to show you the old seal. This will give you an idea of how worn out it was and why it needed to be replaced. So in summary, the rear main seal is an important component in your car's engine that prevents oil leaks and keeps the engine lubricated and running smoothly. It's important to be aware of the symptoms of a worn out seal, such as oil leaks and a decrease in oil pressure, and to consider changing the seal at around 100,000 miles or if you notice any of these symptoms. However, the rear main seal can also break or go faulty before this mileage, so it's always a good idea to check your oil level, oil pressure, and look out for oil leaks regularly. Changing a rear main seal is a task that is best left to a professional mechanic, and it typically takes around 3-4 hours. With the right knowledge and tools, you can ensure that your engine stays lubricated and running smoothly, preventing costly repairs and breakdowns. So, there you have it a complete guide to understanding and maintaining your car's rear main seal. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. Please let us know what you think of these details in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.